Hey everyone, I'm Diana with the Theodore Roosevelt Sanctuary and Audubon Center, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really awesome craft using supplies from around the house to make your home safer for birds. So let's get started. First we're going to look at the supplies we need for this craft, most of which you can definitely find around the house. The first things you're going to need are our decal supplies, so that's a little bit of dish soap, some Elmer's or other white school glue, a cup to mix them in, and something like a paintbrush to mix and apply them with. The next thing you're going to need is a smooth plastic surface, like a plastic baggie of any kind, a sheet protector or plastic wrap placed on a flat surface to create your decals on, and this can be used multiple times during the craft. The next thing you're going to need are your decoration supplies, so we're going to use markers for this, either water-based or alcohol-based, even highlighters would be totally great. Whatever you have on hand is perfect. And lastly, we're going to need something to draw inspiration for the design of our decals from. So you can use some stencils like that, even if you have a magazine or any other kind of photos laying around, you can trace those as well. Now let's get started on the craft itself. The first thing you're going to want to grab is your glue. We're going to be putting in about two tablespoons of glue. I chose to just eyeball it. I've done this a couple times before and that's what I felt comfortable with, but please feel free to measure it out if that's what you think would work best. You want to make sure that you're using Elmer's glue, school glue, white glue, anything like that, but you don't want to be using super glue, crazy glue, any sort of glue in that family because that's not what's right for this project. If you only have the transparent or the glittery or any of those other fun kinds of Elmer's glue, that should work fine for this as well. The next thing we're going to be grabbing is our dish soap. We're going to be putting in about two to three drops of the dish soap in. And you want to make sure you're not putting too much. You don't want to mess with the formula and not make it sticky at all. Then you're going to grab your paintbrush or whatever you want to do to mix it up. And you're going to get mixing. You want to make sure everything's very well incorporated. All of the dish soap and all the glue are mixed in nicely together. Once your glue is all nice and mixed up, then you're going to get ready to apply. So we're going to grab our tracing sheet, our stencils that we wanted to use, and whichever plastic surface. I chose to use a seat protector in this video. Now we want to put the sheet protector right on top, make sure you can see everything. And you're going to want to check that everything that you want to be tracing or covering is going to be within the bounds of the sheet protector. If you choose a magazine or a photo to use as your reference image, you can just put that plastic right on top or trace it out on a piece of paper and put your plastic on top of that. So once your glue is all mixed up and your sheet and plastic covering are totally ready to go, you can grab your paintbrush and start applying. Now you're going to want to fill in your images all the way up to their edges and lines. You want to make sure you're not leaving any holes, small or big, or any really streaky spots or gaps. You want the glue to be pretty opaque. You don't want to be super duper thick, but thick enough that when it dries it won't be flimsy and terrible. And you might have to go back to do a second coat if you want that. You can see mine were a little streaky here, so I did do a second coat. And you're going to have to let these dry for at least two hours, if possible letting it dry overnight. After a couple hours, it's time to check if they're dry. You can test your decals by running your finger or tapping it along the surface, making sure they are smooth, they shouldn't be sticky or tacky at all. And if so, then you're ready to get started coloring. Like I said earlier in the video, you're going to want to use markers for this, whether they be alcohol-based like Sharpies, or water-based like Crayola, Rose Art, Artist Loft, whatever you have on hand is awesome. Now, when it comes to coloring, whether you want to do it realistic, like I'm doing right now, or with crazy fun colors is totally up to you. You have complete artistic freedom here, and the colors are really your decision what will make you happy to see. Now, looking at this already, I see a couple field marks on the coloring that I'm doing right now. And I'm going to give you all a couple seconds just to guess what kind of bird this is. Now, if you guess a mallard duck, you'd be completely correct. I really like mallards. I think they're super cute. And I've enjoyed coloring them using a reference photo, which you can do too. When coloring, you also want to make sure that you're not coloring too hard so you don't accidentally rip through the surface by pressing too hard. But if you did enough coats on your decal, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now, once you've colored to your heart's content and got everything done that you wanted to do, it's time to get ready to apply. So you're going to gently, gently peel off your decals. You wanna make sure that you're ready to put them right into your hand or somebody else's hand if you're being helped with making this. Right after, 
You don't want to let them curl up too much because they are made of glue, so they are a little bit sticky and they might stick to themselves. So you want to try to avoid that as much as possible. You can see I got my little piping plover ready to go. And next up is heading right on over to my window. Now you can see my window overlooks a bush where there's a lot of birds that like to hang out. So you, when you put it on, you want to make sure you're putting the non-colored side on. You want to press it on gently but firmly, smooth it out as much as possible, and there you go. The best advice that I can give when it comes to putting on these decals is the more the merrier. The more decals you have on your window, the less likely birds will think it's a place that they can fly through, and the more collisions you'll prevent, which is pretty great. Thank you so much for watching our video, and if you make these, please don't hesitate to share them in the comments of this video or on any of our pages. Again, thanks again for your continued support, and we look forward to seeing what you've created.